So, breakdown of the test so far. So, liftoff went well. It went right on time, which means all their preparation leading up to it, as long as all things are go, they're able to light those 33 Raptor engines. This is the second time in a row for successful, uh, full, well, you know, booster recovery uh, missions where all the engines have lit and they've all also relit on re-entry. So anyways, liftoff, great. Uh, hot stage separation, great. Both the booster did the boost, bu- boost back burn to get away from the starship and prepare to either land offshore or land uh, inside the chopsticks of the launch pad. We had the Starship light all six of its engines and get away. The booster dispensed of the hot stage separation ring and made its way back to uh, shore. From what we know from the live broadcast, the tower was uh, all good. The, all the checks on the tower, the arms, make sure they could position, make sure it was ready for the booster and the people were ready for the booster. That was go, but something on the booster uh, wasn't good enough for them to try that. And so they did the landing, the soft landing on the ocean offshore so that they could still attempt get good data on the landing. And it was smooth. It was really nice. And they look like they have an understanding of this, what, 25, 26 story building that they're landing after it comes back from space. Uh, a- absolutely wild. We are re entering here. Altitude's going down 122 kilometers, still flying in at 26,700 kilometers per hour, which is absolutely nuts. 40 minutes and 30 seconds into flight, and they have, so this is the thing they were talking about, the aggressive re-entry that they were trying to do. So Starship's been cooking as it's been coming in. The tiles seem to be holding up. The flaps seem to be holding up. Okay, flaps are still good. Oop, we're starting to see some charring on, I think, the right flap, left flap. Looks like that heat concentration at the top of the the flap is starting to get too much. Or that metal has just been cooking. Those tiles have been cooking, and it's finally taken over. We saw a very beat up Finn do it last time, so uh, flap. So we'll see. Yeah, it's a beautiful ship. Where's the zero G banana? <laughs> Is the zero G banana still okay? Okay, so our plasma has pretty much gone away. The metal definitely has some discoloration, some heating, probably. That starship is cooking. Ooh, that is a molten flipper. We can see that we are beginning. Starship has paused maximum entry dynamic pressure. All right, great call out there. But we can see on this view here that we do have some heating there. On That looks like one of the forward flaps on Starship. This is to be expected. We knew that the vehicle... Uh, Again, it was much worse on IFT4. Okay, 37 kilometers. 5,000 kilometers per hour. Whew. Almost under 1,000 kilometers per hour. Okay, we're starting to get some air here. Oh, this is so cool watching this thing fly. By the way, a friend of mine, uh, Eric, was mentioning, you know, these uh, Battlestar Galactica, something that, you know, I was aware of. I never watched fully. Um... But he's a huge fan, and uh, the way that they shot it with the spacecraft, with the the angle down the the ship, I mean, SpaceX has done that. I'm sure that wasn't on uh, by accident, um, but it's such a cool view, and seeing these flaps work, be dynamic in this situation is, is awesome. I love it. I mean, the... Th- they're bringing the the ship back. It's it's wild. They're flying this <laughs> this giant squid <laughs> back into a controlled manner to try and land. Crazy. 
trying to land a tube. God, this is so cool. Yeah, it looks like everything's reacting. 6.8 million viewers. Holy crud. And all of this high quality foot footage is being beamed and the connection because of Starlink. Like, wild. All right, we're going to pass through the clouds here in just a sec. It's like back to the future. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, we, we pass through the clouds. That cloud layer. Definitely getting more aggressive here. Only one kilometer left. We're going to be landing here soon. All right, here we go. It looks like they have control. Now let's see if they can pull this reentry burn off. Oh, there's the ocean. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Overcorrecting, overcorrecting. Yes. Oh, this view is amazing. Whoa. Yeah. Beautiful. Up. Oh. Are we going to see an explosion? Oh, we got we got the pylon. Bowie cam. All right, it's floating, but I don't know if it's going to survive. It's on fire. Tank probably burst. Oh, I think we're going to explode. Wow. <laughs> 